In this video, we are going to look at outline of the course. So the first introduction of bug bounty platform. We will look at the websites which provide bug bounty programs and we will see how you can start with bug bounty programs. Then we are going to set up our lab. We will install our own web application on which we will understand and learn the security issues. Then we will cover topics like local file inclusion, remote file inclusion, unrestricted file uploads, tab mapping and many more. All the topics that we are going to cover will be explained with demo and also with real life reports. I'll show you real life reports and the bounties that are rewarded in return. And after the completion of course, I'll tell you how will you enhance the topics that you learned in this course. I hope you will enjoy the course. Hello everyone. If you are curious to know what are the security bugs in a web application and how security researchers slash hackers making money by reporting it to our respective companies, then you are at the right place. <laughs> This course is all about bug bounty or you can call it how to earn money through finding security issues in web application. So the first question is what is bug bounty programs? In brief, the bug bounty program are the programs in which companies or organization invites the web application security researchers or hackers to find the security bugs slash vulnerabilities or security issues in their web application and when they report it to the company, the company rewards them with some bounty or some other stuff and that's how both get benefited. And there are some examples of rewards like this t-shirt. This t-shirt is given by Dutch government in their bug bounty program and it says I had the Dutch government and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. The another t-shirt is given by Sony in their bug bounty program which says secure at Sony and there are many other companies or organization who gives t-shirts, hoodies, etc. in their bug bounty programs. The another type of reward is a hall of fame. In this type of reward, the company have a dedicated web page which shows the faces or profiles of a security researcher who help them in being secure. The another type is the money. If you do not know what is this, this is the HackerOne web page. I'll tell you later what is HackerOne. So you can see here the bounty of $1,120 is given by Twitter.com to this person. So this was very little introduction about the topic bug bounty. In the next video, we will see the outline of the course. In this video, we will look at the platforms where you can find bug bounty programs. One of the popular platform is HackerOne or in short Edge One. As you can see, this is the website where anyone can create an account and start with bug bounty programs. So as we click on this tab for hackers and go to program directory, you will see a lot of programs. As you can see here, there are also big companies programs. Minimum bounties are also mentioned. There are also some programs which do not provide bounty but gives point in return and points are beneficial in hacker one so here is yahoo uber twitter adobe let's click on one of the program and see what are policies so here is yahoo's bug bounty program and you can see policy are mentioned here and there is a lot of things in policy the first thing is yahoo bug bounty program rules then reporting rules then in scope domains and properties this means what are the domains that are in scope and here out of scope domains that means what are the scope that are not eligible for bounty or that are not eligible for even testing you can also see findings not eligible for bounty this means these mentioned bugs are not eligible for bounty if you report them they will not give you bounty and there are also rewards and legal the thing is you have to read this policy before starting your quest for bugs. You should read this policy for every bug bounty program that you are going to participate in. The another famous platform is Bug Crowd. You can explore it by yourself and you can also create an account on this.
and you can also use google search to find some isolated bug bounty programs too so this was a very short intro about bug bounty platforms thank you and have a nice day